Hello, welcome back to the channel, it's JPA here. In today's video I'm going to be discussing Rangers 2 0 win over Air United in the Scottish Cup. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please think about hitting that subscribe button. Hit the like button as well and we'll just get straight into this video, guys. So, uh, Rangers 2, Air United 0. Uh, quite a difficult match, actually. A lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. And that's no disrespect to Air United, but uh, I genuinely thought it would... Once we broke them down and got a couple of goals, we'd get a couple more. I uh, predicted 4-0. Uh, I was half right. But uh, it, was, uh, it was a good game. Um, a lot of possession by us. We started really well. And uh, Oscar Cortez, I, th I thought, was absolutely fantastic throughout the match. Uh, just in the second minute. Um, cut inside from the left-hand side. Curled in a shot. And it just uh, hit the bottom of the post. Really unlucky. And he, he was a, a real bright spark in the... Particularly in opening exchanges. Uh, I think it was about maybe three, four minutes after that. Uh, he nutmegged some down just on the same area. Um, just outside the box. And managed to get another shot away. Straight down the keeper's throat really. And uh, didn't really trouble the keeper in the end. But it was a really good effort. And uh, he was really good throughout the match. As I said, quite direct. Uh, and it's through his persistence again that the, goal, the first goal came. Uh, he was put in the, the left hand side, spritted in, cut to the byline, and um, I think it was blocked at the front post and it fell back to him. Uh, he took a step inside again and found Barisic. Barisic put in with left foot. I think it takes a slight deflection as it takes it past the goalkeeper, but I do actually think it was going in uh, anyway. So a uh, great finish for 1 0, but it was all. All thanks to that fantastic work down the left-hand side from Cortez, who I think is going to be a fantastic player for us this season. So after the first goal, we did create another couple of maybe, maybe half chances. I probably didn't really get enough real quality chances, and that's probably down to the way that Area United defended. I thought they defended really well, actually. Uh, they didn't do a lot going forward. Uh, but I didn't really expect them to, to be honest with you. Uh, maybe hit us on the counter a couple of times, but we weren't really fully troubled by them. And uh, yeah, they were very well organised, uh, particularly in the first half. Managed to keep the score down, and um, we went in 1-0 at half time, having not really troubled them as much as we probably should have done. So I ended the second half, and it was pretty much more of the same. A lot of possession for us. Uh, just looking for that second goal, and it was, it was difficult to come by. Todd Cantwell had come on and I think he applied a little bit of um, pressure onto the, their players. He was a little bit more direct than maybe we had been in the first half. Um, and you could see a, a change in the team when he came on. He was very bright, very direct. And his passing was a lot better than... And no disrespect to the players that went off, but I just thought when, when he came on, Cantwell, he, he injected something a little bit extra. Um it was through good play from uh, Todd Cantwell that we eventually got the second goal, which I think was maybe about 75th minute, was it? Uh, I might be wrong on the time in there, but it was very very late on in the game, to be honest with you. Um, he burst into the box and he kind of faked a shot and slipped it past the defender. And instead of just putting it past the, the keeper or put, driving it across the box, he chipped it very cleverly. And uh, Matondo was in there. Looked to have hit the post. They did check for VAR with this one in case it hit his hand I don't think it did it maybe hit his shoulder at one point but it didn't hit his hand and it came back off the post it felt a Fabio Silva who on the half spin just turned hit it in the, the top of the net great finish from uh, Silva and I'm actually really starting to really like Silva I thought he played really well uh, the controversy was involving Silva actually the he was booked in the first half, and I honestly don't think there was much contact, if any. But he's kind of, it looks as if he's caught his, the player's toe as he's went in for it. I don't think it was a booking, if I'm honest with you. Uh, second one again, I don't think there's any contact for that. Um, Michael Stewart was, was wanting him sent off. Say, uh, Scott Brown was wanting him sent off, saying that he, he shouldn't have been on the pitch when he scored that goal. I think that's nonsense. I don't think either of them were... Uh, Potentially maybe free kicks, I don't know. But they certainly weren't bookings and they weren't worthy of us sending off. So I think they're kind of clutching at straws with that one, if I'm honest with you. So I finished 2-0. Uh, uh, fairly professional performance from Rangers. Obviously we expected more goals as fans, but that was a professional performance. 
uh, enough to see us through. We weren't in any real danger of it. Um, for me, Todd Cantwell was very bright when he came on. Cortez was fantastic. Diamande, I think he just maybe needs a little bit more time. He was positive on the ball, but he maybe just didn't show enough of what he can do, and he, he was one of the ones that, that were subbed early on in the game. Uh, but yeah, I, th I thought we were fantastic. Jack Butland again, didn't really have much to do, but he played well when when um, when he was called upon. Uh, I'm just going to wrap the video up there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, just before I go, though, I just wanted to have a wee, um, uh, just a wee apology uh, to the guys on the WhatsApp. I didn't actually join in. I had a look at a couple of the comments and stuff, but uh, I was going through a couple of things yesterday, and I, I didn't really have, I wasn't even in the right mind space to be talking about football. So I did watch the game, obviously, but I didn't really feel like talking and I didn't want to be like put a, a dampener on anything like that so I just didn't bother uh, joining in the group chat good to see that uh, Bob and Scott just uh, continued without me which was fantastic I like to see that uh, so I apologise for that I will be on the next one so I right, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video Cheers.